Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Don't Keep Up With The Joneses. We are doing another episode of Cooking With Crystal today. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and get down with the get down. You heard me? All right, so I'm so excited because today I'm going to be doing something for the first time ever. So, those of you that follow the channel already know my husband got a garden in the back and he be growing stuff. And so today I'm cooking our very first meal using things grown from the garden. Now, I was excited, maybe even a little preemptive, but I wanted to try it out. I wanted to get something. So this is what I used. Boop, boop. I got some basil, fresh basil from the garden, some fresh green beans from the garden, and some chocolate mint. Now, I'm not using the chocolate mint in today's video. I'm gonna be doing that another time. I'm gonna be making some chocolate mint tea. Ah, I'm so excited about that. But today I will be using this basil. I will be using these green beans and I'm actually gonna be using a lemon that I got from my local grocery store because we don't grow lemons here. Um, and I'm gonna be making lemon basil green beans. Amazing for springtime, they are gonna be super fresh. Let's go ahead and let's get into this video. All right. So the first thing that I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be thoroughly, thoroughly rinsing my green beans and my basil. All right. So first you got to, you just took it outside from my dirt. I got to clean it. Step one, clean it. If you're using store-bought green beans, they'll just rinse them off. No problem with extra little rinsing, okay? So, but that's what I'm gonna do first. Rinse everything that I just picked out. Okay, so now that I have washed everything off, I'm going to cut it so that it can be prepped and ready for me to start seasoning and all that. You know what I mean? So let me So once you're done chopping all that up, I'm going to get my basil. I don't have a lot of green beans. This is just a little trial situation. I want my husband to the garden. There was more beans, but he didn't want me to get the beans. So I don't know why. So anyways. Okay. So now... It's time to add the zest of a lemon. So I think this is how you zest a lemon. I, I think. Not sure. This is gonna be some big chunks. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? Switch it up. I'm gonna do like this. I don't have a lot of beans. I don't want it to be too overpowering. So I'm gonna um you know what I thought about? I probably should try to figure out how to use zest the lemon before I even did this. But whatever, we're here now. You guys are ready. But I will say, if anybody knows how to zest the lemon, if I'm doing this totally incorrectly or I'm doing it right, you know, just say something in the comments. I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna 
gonna chop it up. Really small. We only have a little bit of green beans, so I don't wanna pack too much of a crunch. These are some very bold flavors I'm using with the, with the basil and the lemon. But it do seem like springtime fresh. Something about it just seems right for springtime. So, you know, I'm gonna go. And also, when I went out kitchen, this is the first recipe that popped up with green beans. It was living green beans. I was like, okay, I'll do it. Okay, so we All right. All of the chefs that enjoy watching my channel for comedic value do not come for me. And my chopping skills, the way I cut stuff, please and thank you. Okay, so there's that. Zest of a lemon. Boom. Could be too much, could be too little. We don't really know. Okay, so now I'm done with that. Now I'm gonna get a spoon. I'm gonna mix it up. Okay, not a lot of mixing happening here because so not a ton of green beans. Just a little sample size, really, that's all it is. Now, after I've done this, I'm going to put it on a stove with about a tablespoon of butter, and I'm gonna let it cook. I'm just gonna do it like that, and let it do right what it do, just like that, okay? All right, so I'm going to add my green beans in with my seasoning, my basil, and my lemon zest. And I'm also going to add some salt, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and that's going to be it. I'm just cooking it on medium heat, so a little bit of pink sea salt, Himalayan sea salt, that's enough I think, and a little pepper. I'm going to do one more. I'm going to do one more of this. There. I'm going to toss it a little bit to make sure it's, you know, like that. Okay. Okay. So now I'm going to do, I'm going to cover it up. And we're gonna see how this turns out, you guys. Y'all, you see what's left of these green beans? Cause these joints is good, uh, okay? My husband, he ate them, I ate them. These are really good, like, I'm actually surprised at how good they are. And they cooked much quicker than I thought they would. I would say it maybe took like five minutes tops. And they cook, there's a nice little crunch on them. They're not too hard, they're not soggy and soft. Like these were really quality. And I definitely can't wait for him to make some more, not make some more, but you know, grow some more green beans. We're gonna be adding that into our vegetable rotation because that recipe was actually amazing. I put the, the like details in the description of like how much I use even though just so you know I use four basil leaves and like well you saw when I shaved the um lemon zest I don't really know how you measure lemon zest shavings when I once I cut it up I would say it was probably about a half a teaspoon of lemon zest and let's say full teaspoon of lemon zest and um yeah, that's all it was, basil and lemon zest and green beans. I had about 10 green beans total. So, yeah, just expand the recipe as necessary. I used about a tablespoon of butter when I was cooking it and then a little salt, a little pepper. It was easy, it was simple, and y'all, it was fresh and springtime delicious. So, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and be on the lookout for the next cooking video. So
Go, go. 